Good morning. Thanks for joining. Hope you guys stick around because at the end, I have to show you something. So hopefully you guys make it to the end of the video. I think you will like what you see and the direction the channel is about to go to. All right. Let's talk about the, you see the title? That's where we're going to go. Let's talk about the temperature for today. We're only going to use one side again. All right, we're gonna keep this high, get the flame going, use this one more for the prepping, okay? Let's start off with cooking our burger. Okay, this is a uh, 80-20. Now from here, it's up to you on how you want to make your patty. If you want to make it smash burger or you want to make it from scratch or add your own seasoning. It's really up to you. It's your burger. Do your thing. That sound is the sound of a black stone. Perfectly handcrafted. All right, let's talk about the buns and then we'll talk about the ingredients. You know how it works. Three kids, three different burgers. Right. Nothing fancy, just a regular old fashioned bun. Uh, we're just gonna toast it. We don't wanna add any butter to it. We don't wanna add any flavor other than the sriracha flavor that we're about to use. All right. Truly believe here, just get rid of the rest of the ingredients and they'll be perfect. Hey, Compton Kitchen, thank you for joining. Hello from Canada, huh? What? Thank you for joining, appreciate it. Yeah, Canada. Sarah Barrera, thank you for joining. Howdy from Sugarland, Texas. What? Susie, what's up? I'm loving your uh, your brother's videos. He's he's getting really comfortable in front of that camera. Who else is with us? Sally, thank you for joining. Really do appreciate it. Love the live show, Robert. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. I hope you like the recipe too. All right, let's talk about the two different ingredients that we're gonna be using. All right, first one. Let's talk about what we're gonna use for the buns. Okay, you could use whatever spread you want if you want ketchup, mustard, mayo. What I'm gonna to use today is a sriracha cream cheese. Now, I've been, when I go for my morning walks, I like to walk through grocery stores and um, I just seen this one pop up. And I figured, you know what, I've been walking past this for the past i'd say three or four days so finally you know what let's do this so today's the day we're gonna play with this and also look at this look at this beauty you got to check this beauty out you're probably wondering what kind of cheese that is right based on the title that's what it is all right that is a sriracha cheese Look at that. Oh, 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 little guy came by. 
All right, let me cover it back up. Let me cover it back up. And if you don't believe me, check this out. This is proof. This is the only way I can prove to you that it was cheese. I saved the tag. <laughs> Honey sriracha cheese. I think you'll like where we're gonna go with it. Three kids, three different burgers, three different samples, three different views. All right, let's flip these burgers over. That's why I'm not gonna season the burger. Now, if you're making this your own, make it your own by adding your own uh, seasoning on it, all right? Where did you find that cheese? Uh, there's a grocery outlet. That's the name of the store. Uh, I go for my morning walks. I tend to walk through the grocery stores, department stores, and I just look at random aisles just to see if I can get some sort of inspiration to show you guys something. So I came up with this. I just saw the cream cheese and the cheese in the same uh, Shelf, so I figured, you know what, let's put them together and see how it goes. Look how toasty these buns are. Okay. Now let's play with this cream cheese real quick. Now, hey, Mija, what's up, man? So, Meathead, you're just joining us. We're going to try to put a cream cheese on our buns. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, I'm having a hard time spreading it. It's all right. I don't want to spread it too much because I want the when I set the meat on there I want it I want the heat to kind of spread it I don't know if that makes sense You see why I'm not using any butter or garlic butter? I want this to be 100% sriracha. Sriracha flavor. show you guys real quick I just needed to toast the buns to kind of warm it up so it'd be easier on the cream cheese look how colorful that cream cheese is I like the color scheme where it's kind of like off-white with a little splash of red gives it that uh it gives it it gives it that sriracha look Flip it over again. We're getting there. All right. Here's what I want to talk to you guys about. So, I've been watching a lot of those uh, street food vendor videos. I'm sure you've seen them around, going around on YouTube the last few weeks. So on those vendors, you always see them like cooking cheese on their griddle. 
and that's something I have never ever done before and I think today's the day I'm gonna do it what do you guys think I just want to see how it's gonna end up I just want to know what's gonna happen if I do it so I'm gonna sacrifice three cheese Make sure you guys can see this. I'm gonna raise it up a little bit. So I'm gonna set it right there. And I'm gonna see how what happens. Okay, first one. I know it's gonna melt, but I just wanna know how and how fast. Now I wanna put two pieces together and see if they'll melt together. All right. Look at it sizzling. That's amazing. Look at it. Ooh, look at it. Look at that. All right, I think it's, let me turn it off. I'd even done it with shredded cheese. Yeah. Check it out, let's do it. Let's build a burger. Ah, oh, this is gonna be amazing cheese. Look at this. Look at this one. I'm sacrificing three. Look, I love the way it melted on there. Look at that. This one kind of went overboard, but that's all right. We could put it more on top of it. There we go. Look at that. I love that look. All right, let's build this a burger, all right? The other, the other cheese. All right, let's build us a burger and see where it goes from here. All right, three different burgers. First one, let's just keep it simple. You have your, okay. So you have your sriracha cream cheese right here. And then we're just gonna put the burger between the cream cheese and the sriracha cheese. All right. And then just like so. So let's give it a look. See how delicious this looks. Look at that. Look at that. That's a sriracha cheese right there. All right, second one. Ready? Let me see if I could do a zoom in on the second one. Second burger, here we go. This is for the healthy people, all right? Ice lettuce or iceberg lettuce been done a hundred times. It's time to change it up a little bit. Let's get us some uh, lettuce mix. It's called spring mix, all right? Start adding some color to our food. What do you guys think so far? You like it? Add some cheese to it. Look at that. You're gonna watch me crown it close up. Oh, here we go. Ready? Look how delicious that looks. And we're just gonna crown it. Look at that. That looks great. All right, one more. One more sample, here we go. We make sure you guys get a good view. All right, sriracha cream cheese, look at that. That's a beautiful color, beautiful mix. And we're gonna give it some beautiful color to go with it. Same as before. Give it some beauty color. All right, 
And then we'll step up our game. All right. Iceberg lettuce. Hey, that's what your thing is. Do your thing. I'm just kind of changing up a little bit, kind of doing my own thing, but not making it too weird. But that's lettuce with spring ro spring mix. And then let's add some onions to the mix, you know? Let's add onions. Look at that. Oh, wow. I love it. Look at that. And that's with onions. That is with onions. And the same thing. We're just going to crown it. There you go, folks. Let me line them up for you. So you get all three views. Oh, God damn, that looks beautiful. All right. I want to thank you guys all for joining. All right, hey, make your own, you know? Add your own twist to it, add your spin to it. If you do, just at least tag us because we love watching everyone else do uh, their own recipes. So appreciate the invite. Other than that, hey, oh, got to show you guys, told you guys at the end, I, I'm supposed to show you guys something. Check it out. Oh, all right, you guys ready? Let me do a zoom out. All right, so we've been reading your comments. Um, you know, sometimes we don't reply because the comment inbox notification gets so outrageous. But check it out. Game changer. Look what my wife bought me. Ready? Look at that. You guys see it? Okay. This is a gimbal. This is what's going to prevent, or this is what's going to give you guys a different live streaming experience. It's a gimbal. Because of my shaky hands, right? And because of my shaky hands, this will uh, give you guys a smoother view. So it's coming up on the next live video. If you guys want to see how it turns out, you got to subscribe and hit that bell button. I'm going to play with it today, and then hopefully uh, we go live with it tomorrow. The only way to find out, you got to subscribe, hit that bell button, and I'll see you on the next live video. Bye. Mr. Ohms, thanks for joining Copton's Kitchen. Thank you. Meathead, thanks. Leprechaun TV, thanks for joining. Yep, thank you. One last look. It's my birthday present. What? Thank you, babe. Love you. Bye.